All right, so I'm getting lots of questions. Hey, how was EXPCon? I thought I would give you um, my quick three takeaways, which probably aren't what you would expect. There's so much value, and that was clear, and it's clear that I have a lot of learning to do to really understand the value so I can share it with agents, um, whether it's from what they're doing with commercial, which is amazing, to healthcare for agents, um, to even their philanthropic side of, you know, of the company. So amazing, but what really stood out to me, which I knew when I was joining and I was able to articulate, but it really imprinted for me as I got together with my EXP community, um, was the power of the EXP community. So when you join a traditional brokerage, you may join for the brand or you may join for the leader who recruits you in, or you might even join because it's close to your house. Um, In EXP, all of those things are sort of flipped upside down. And when you join, you actually join into a community um, of people that you're going to associate with and who are delivering value to you. And those are agents. So this is an agent community. Every time a person joins EXP, they name a sponsor. And by naming that sponsor, they then enter into um, this community of um, agents inside EXP that sort of all affiliate together in a sense. And so, you know, as I was reconnecting with my community, with Nolly and Will and Kevin and Fred and Mark and Tony and all of those great people that I really intentionally um, chose when I joined EXP, I was reminded of the powerful value and just how much it makes a difference to be um, with people who you feel are headed the same direction to you, like-minded, have the same goals, maybe, um, you know, share some other similarities outside of the real estate arena. Um, So I was just really reminded and so glad I went to, you know, catch up with all those guys that we see, you know, by Zoom calls a lot and in our weekly masterminds, but we don't get to be in person together. Um, So that was one thing. The other thing um, that really powerfully struck me was the diversity of the leadership inside EXP. Um, Every session, the leaders on stage um, were, you know, you saw women, people of color. Um, It was really a different experience to see how um, diverse the leadership team is. And it's not cookie cutter. Like these are really normal people who make everyone think like, wow, I I could be up there someday in some capacity because it looks like it's achievable. So that was um, super powerful. And of course, really cool to know that the number one agent by unit count inside EXP is a Latino woman. Like she's kicking butt and it was so cool to see. Um, And then the last thing I think that I really took away just from going to Vegas, which has nothing to do with real estate, but I was really reminded, this is a reminder to myself because we're not traveling with cash anymore and how important those tips are to the service people You know, I happen to have a $5 bill that I gave to the bellhop and like he was just so thankful for it. Um, Remembering that, you know, especially in places like Las Vegas, COVID really shut them down hard time and service members being hit the most, Um, you know, so just the power of carrying cash when you're traveling. And it's a reminder to me because I'm probably the worst at it um, because those tips mean so much to people who are out there working hard to, you know, make our stays great wherever we're going. So anyway, that's what I got from EXPCon. Loved it. Um, I've got a lot to learn and I have a lot on my list of things to, you know, dive into as I'm back. But if you want to learn more, just check me out.